The first 100 days of the new year will have very little value to you from a productivity standpoint if you do not pounce on them with the intent to set a pace, to build momentum, and to secure some early wins. In a very real sense, this is a use it or lose it proposition. And in order for you to make this the best year of your life, you must judiciously focus on results for the simple reason that in the end, only results matter. Intentions and resolutions are simply incapable of putting food on your table, clothes on your back, or gas in your car. Hi there, this is Gary Ryan Blair, and I've got a great time-sensitive message for you today that you're absolutely going to love. It's titled Start Right, your game plan for maximizing the first 100 days of the new year. So let's get after it. Now allow me to begin with a statement and a declaration of purpose. I have no idea what your goals or resolutions are for the first 100 days of the year, and I have no business telling you what they should be. My job is to show you how to achieve them in the fastest, most efficient manner possible. And that is why I put together the Start Right presentation. The purpose of the Start Right manifesto is threefold. The first, to explain the importance of starting the year fast, focused, and fired up. The second, to provide you with a game plan. That is specific actions and implementation strategies that you can deploy in order to make this your best year ever. And three, to throw down a challenge. So let's get started by focusing in on the critical question. What is the importance of leveraging the first 100 days of the new year? Well, the new year provides you with a one-shot window of opportunity to blast out of the gate fast, focused, and fired up. And as with any opportunity, you have an obligation to capitalize on it. Now, should you choose not to, I assure you of this, you'll come to regret that decision, as nothing is more expensive than a missed opportunity. You must recognize a few things about the importance of seizing this opportunity to start the new year right. See, the first 100 days of the new year will have very little value to you from a productivity standpoint if you do not pounce on them with the intent to set a pace, to build momentum, and to secure some early wins. In a very real sense, this is a use it or lose it proposition. The second is that your loss is someone else's gain. As someone with more courage, conviction, and confidence than you, will find a way to seize it, and they'll make the kind of progress that you only wish for. The importance of how you execute the first 100 days of the new year cannot be overstated, because when you have a successful first 100 days, it naturally follows that you're building momentum and you're setting yourself up for having your best year ever. This approach is smart business and quickly becomes a devastating competitive advantage as your competition is knocked off balance by your quick strike offense and left with no option other that has spent the balance of the year playing catch-up. The first 100 days of the new year is when you've got to give it everything you've got. And the game plan that follows provides you with the motivational fuel and the justification you need to start the new year fast, focused, and fully committed to making this your best year ever. See, the truth is everyone wants to start the new year on the right foot. Everyone from day one has goals to pursue and goals they want to realize sooner rather than later. The challenge for many is knowing the best way to get the job done. Well, today, that problem is solved forever. This Start Right Manifesto is your catalyst for dramatically accelerating your results over the first 100 days of the new year, primarily because it focuses in on one thing, and that is getting you from point A to point B as quickly as possible. And the single best strategy for creating radical results and for building momentum during the first 100 days of the year is to play a strong, relentless offense in teaching you how to play offense more specifically how to become a formidable opponent an unstoppable powerhouse a lean mean results generating machine that makes huge performance gains in the first 100 days of the year is what the start right manifesto is all about so let's get going see strategy is defined as a plan of action intentionally designed to achieve a desired goal and there are two and only two types of strategy Offense and defense. Offensive strategy exists to advance your position, to score goals, to put points on the board, to win. Offensive strategy is proactive. It means playing to win. Defensive strategy, on the other hand, is about protective posturing. It exists to hold ground, to prevent the offense or opposition from scoring. Defensive strategy is reactive. It means playing not to lose. Now, without apology or sugarcoating, 
Far too many people spend the majority of their lives deploying the wrong strategy, and they wonder why they're not getting their ticket punched. They choose to play defense. They choose to resist change. They choose to maintain the status quo. They choose to lower their standards. They choose to settle for less. They do not strike fast and hard when an opportunity such as these first 100 days of the new year presents itself. They merely exist, and they are quiet spectators and live a small, fear-filled life. As a result of playing defense, they operate in a reactive, wait-and-see mode. They're constantly retreating, forever backpedaling. They're ridiculously hyper-cautious, and sadly, they will have very little show on the highlight reel. On the other hand, those that choose to play a strong, relentless, and determined offense during the first 100 days of the new year and beyond will find themselves advancing, gaining ground, building momentum, proactively creating the conditions for change, and most importantly, achieving their goals. And that is what you really want, isn't it? It was to why it matters. While there's always a time and a place for defensive competitive strategy, a powerful offensive strategy is the only sure way for you to make this your best year ever. And cultivating the ability to achieve goals quickly, effectively, creatively, is a mandatory condition for success because great offensive skills will allow you to maintain control and live life on your own terms. Now, what follows your game plan for maximizing the first 100 days of the new year? I advise you to deploy it vigilantly, and not only will you become astonished by the results, but you'll have the good fortune of enjoying those results faster than you ever possibly imagined. Strategy number one is to get serious. Now, let's begin this first strategy with a finger-in-the-eye type of maximum. You will not start fast, nor do you stand a chance of making this your best year ever, until and unless you decide to make it so. Until you decide to crush these first 100 days of the year by developing a plan and executing your plan consistently with sustained commitment, you'll forever remain in the same situation you're in right now, and you'll be forever repeating established patterns of behavior. So to make this the best year of your life, you must look in the mirror and decide once and for all that you're done playing games that you're done settling for table scraps, that you're done standing by idly on the sideline while other people that you do not perceive as being neither as bright nor as talented as you are living in nicer homes, driving finer cars, and enjoying a far superior quality of life. Why is that? Well, it's actually very simple. Decision always precedes action. That is why you must decide to grow up and to get serious about your goals. Strategy number two is to accelerate. If the objective is to set a pace, to crush your goals, and to make this your best year ever, then you owe it to yourself to find the fastest way to get the job done. And if you can't, won't, or simply refuse to accept or dismiss out of hand what I'm about to share with you, you're making a huge mistake. One that will cost you your chance at maximizing these first 100 days of the year. Now, I want you to think about it. If the goal is to become debt-free... Why perpetuate the pain and do it slowly? If the goal is to lose weight and get in great shape, why on earth should be a long, drawn-out process? If the goal is to get better grades, why should it take any longer than the next exam to turn things around? If the goal is to become the sales leader of your organization, why should it take until next quarter or even next year when you can wear the crown next month? The truth is, any goal or plan expands so as to fill and reinforce the unrealistic amount of time that you've made available for its completion. So the solution is to move fast, to accelerate. Strategy number three is to start saying no. No is the most powerful word in your vocabulary as well as a complete sentence. It's the easiest word for setting a limit, for holding for the boundaries, and for being clear about what you will or will not do during the first 100 days of the new year. So you'll be infinitely more productive once you recognize these three things. The first is that no is not a dirty word. It's not a negative word, nor is it a selfish word. Saying no is liberating as it frees up your time to focus in on your key priorities. The second is that you're in complete control of how you spend your time and your life. And saying no allows you more time and energy to pursue your goals and your wildest ambitions. And the third, saying no actually increases the value of the things that you could say yes to. The success in every area of your life demands a short yes list and a very long no list. 
Yet most people have that one reverse engineered and they pay dearly for it. Saying no without a doubt is the most strategic decision you can make as it improves and accelerates your effectiveness, guaranteeing a fast and focused start to the new year. Strategy number four is to focus on results. The greatest waste of untapped resources in this world are the resolutions and the intentions that don't translate into purposeful, goal-directed behavior. Resolutions and intentions like getting in shape, writing a novel, learning a language, or even unpacking the boxes from your last move are completely meaningless without focused and consistent execution. Now, I can seek the following with the certainty of a man holding four aces. If resolutions and intentions were of any value other than to bring a false sense of comfort to the delusional, well, everybody would be skinny, happy, and rich. So to make this the best year of your life, you must judiciously focus on results for the simple reason that in the end, only results matter. Resolutions alone are incapable of putting food on your table, clothes on your back, or gas in your car. Your results serve as the ultimate judge, jury, and executioner of your performance. And this truth applies the same way to a salesperson's ability to meet or to exceed quota, to a student's ability to maintain good grades in school, to a coach's ability to build a winning record, as well as to your ability to crush these first 100 days of the year. To your ability to drive results is all that matters. This is a rule without an exception. Therefore, stop focusing on and having good intentions and start focusing on driving results. Strategy number five is to be unreasonable. Hitting the ground running and crushing your goals in the first 100 days of the new year requires that you become unreasonable what you expect from yourself and in the unreasonable demands that you make upon others. The majority of people, on the other hand, settle for a small squeak of their potential because they bought into the false belief that simply being reasonable is the best way to go. How foolish in casually creating that belief is. The unreasonable person adapts themselves to the world, while the unreasonable one persists in trying to adapt the world to themselves. Therefore, all large, significant, and lasting progress depends on the unreasonable person. True success is achieved by the minority of people and requires an unconventional way of thinking. Great achievements are, have been, and will always be the results of unreasonable people driven by unreasonable expectations and exceptionally high standards. And the only way to create big, bold, breakthrough results in the first 100 days of the new year is to take the road less traveled, to set goals and plans that are unreasonable, and going for it in a very big way. Strategy number six, to go above and beyond. The distance between those who make big things happen in the first 100 days of the new year and those who are merely passive players has everything to do with one's readiness, willingness, and their ability to go above and beyond expectations. Delivering only what your customer expects will give you job security. Maybe, but it certainly won't make you stand out. And if you don't stand out, you'll miss out on new opportunities. You won't get that promotion. You won't get that referral. You won't get the repeat business, and you won't get the lifetime loyalty, devotion, and reverence that you're after. In short, you can't expect extraordinary results or superior compensation without consistently going above and beyond your client's expectations. To the masses are always foolishly on the lookout for a new gimmick, a shiny new performance hack, a shortcut, but the truth is this. The quickest way to advance your career, to earn trust, to develop a world-class reputation, and to make this your best year ever is by going above and beyond. You either get the importance of that or you do not. Strategy number seven is to rise and shine. If you're ever going to find your greatness and make this your best year ever, you must decide that what you want is bigger and far more important than any fear, excuse, or self-limiting belief which prevents you from achieving it. And by doing so, you'll rise to every challenge with confidence, with conviction, and with certainty. So you only have two choices when faced with an obstacle, a challenge, or an opportunity. You can choose to rise and shine, or you can let it beat you down into submission. And as with everything in life, what we do about what happens to us matters far more than what actually happens to us. So the ultimate reason for setting big, challenging goals during the first 100 days of the new year is to entice you to become the type of person it takes in order to achieve them. 
You must decide that you will not be defeated, that you will not succumb to difficulty, that you will not lower your standards, nor will you ever tolerate an excuse from yourself. As your greatest glory is not in falling, but it is rising and shining every time you fall. Strategy number eight is to be relentless. Your success in crushing the first 100 days of the new year is forever linked directly to your heart, to your will, to your steadfast commitment to your goals. The relentless attitude is the winning attitude. And the remarkable thing about life is that we have a choice every day regarding the attitude which we will embrace for that day. You cannot ever let fatigue make you a coward, nor can you expect to win without struggling, without suffering, and without sacrificing. And these are all the essential elements for making this your best year ever. Being relentless is a commitment. It's an empowering mindset that stands in the face of obstacles, hardships, temptations, financial difficulties, failing physical health, broken relationships, as well as the most intense competition. Victory belongs neither to the faint-hearted nor the weak will or the uncommitted. Not if the enemy is great and his resolution is strong. It's only by facing the opponent head-on and with a vengeance that the battle can be won. The start of the new year in the best way possible necessitates that you fight on with undying, relentless determination. Strategy number nine is to stay hungry. Every goal you set poses an identical question. How badly do you want it? And to realize your potential to start the new year fast, Focused and fired up, you must respond with some version of this answer. More. And then you've got to get out there and prove it. That's where hunger and passion come into the picture. See, passion is hardcore devotion to a person, to a goal, or a cause. It infuses life with meaning, joy, significance, and unbridled enthusiasm. It's desire in your heart. It's the fire in your belly. It's the twinkle in your eye. It is your magnificent obsession. The passion is your psychological mojo. It's the reason why you get up early and you work late. It's the why that points the way. And it's an indispensable virtue that is far more valuable than money, power, or fame. Whatever your goals are for the first 100 days of the new year, I promise you this. It's your passion, that white-hot flame burning in your belly. That is the only thing that will keep you committed to success. See, in the end, the hungriest person always wins. Therefore, stay hungry and prove to yourself each and every day how badly you want it by taking massive, relentless action. And that brings us to strategy number 10, which is to become a quick change artist. Now, as you work towards the goal of crushing the first 100 days of the new year, you must embrace the idea that your ability to recognize and to adapt to change quickly is an asset in need of cultivation. While adapting to the relentless pace of change is difficult, Not adapting is fatal as history is littered with the bodies of successful people and companies who were brought to their knees and put in an early grave due to their inability and unwillingness to adapt or to adjust to the changing environment in which they found themselves in. In almost every case, the sources of failure are obvious and avoidable. A failure to implement new technologies that have already been developed. An arrogant disregard for changing customer demands or a complacent attitude towards new competitors. Throw in fear, the gravitational pull of resistance, and a love affair with a comfort zone, you've got yourself the perfect storm. See, change descends upon each one of us equally. The difference is that some of us realize it faster than others, and they adapt accordingly. That's why you must become a quick change artist. Now, I've got an important question for you to seriously consider. Are you ready to make this your best year ever? Now, I'm going to take the liberty of being blunt right now. There's absolutely no point in pretending that starting the first 100 days of the new year fast, focused, and fired up is anything less than the savviest move that you can make right now. And while there are plenty of excuses, there's not one good reason for you to procrastinate, to say the timing is not right, and that it's not worth your time. That is why you're going to love the 100 Day Challenge. The 100 Day Challenge is an online, hardcore performance acceleration program designed with one purpose in mind, and that is to show you how to get more accomplished in the first 100 days of the new year than most people do over the course of 10 years. So I know a thing or two about driving radical results fast. And if you have a sincere desire to maximize the first 100 days of the new year, to play a much bigger game, 
and to make this your best year ever? Well, the 100 Day Challenge is the program for you. Over the years, I've become known as the Goals Guide. I've developed a reputation as someone who immensely successful entrepreneurs, executives, professional athletes, and even special military forces go to when they need to step up their execution skills. In fact, my number one New York Times bestselling book, Everything Counts, is required reading for all special forces as it focuses in on the critical nature of micro decisions, on sweating the smallest of details, and executing with speed and precision. And like any world-class competition, the Winter Day Challenge contains the elements necessary for the unleashing of your greatness, and that includes rules, performance standards, accountability, a scoreboard, a finish line, fans, competition, and most of all, it's a blast. You'll have so much fun. The best part is that the Wonder Day Challenge is appropriate for everyone in the boardroom, the classroom, the locker room, and even the living room. And you're going to love the Wonder Day Challenge primarily because we focus it on one thing, and that is to get you from point A to point B as quickly as possible. And we're pretty darn good at it. To date, the Wonder Day Challenge has delivered jaw-dropping results for more than 530,000 people in over 80 countries around the world to include some of the best companies in the world. So you might be wondering, is the one day challenge demanding? Does it require discipline, accountability, hard work, sustained commitment, and relentless action? You bet it does. But the results are ridiculously huge, and they're life-changing. And whether your New Year goals have to do with turning your annual income into your monthly income, into writing a best-selling book, running a marathon, becoming debt-free, getting in great shape, or gaining market share and more visibility... The 100 Day Challenge will help you to achieve any goal that you want faster and easier than you ever thought possible. So why wait another moment? Sign up for the 100 Day Challenge at 100daychallenge.com and together, let's get busy crushing some big goals and making this your best year ever.